on this episode of the Venus Cuckoldress podcast. My friend James is here to explain to anyone who has ever wondered what cuck angst is really like. What does it feel like and why is it so intoxicating? And he's here to explain what exactly are the benefits for a guy in a type of cuckolding relationship like his. What is in it for him? It's a fascinating exploration of the cuck perspective. Cuckolding really is a shift of power. Anne's empowered and she controls. And that's an aspect of cuckolding that you have to understand is that you're also, this angst is created by the fact that you're giving up, surrendering yourself in essence to your wife or, or you know, girlfriend and having or going on this journey and some men aren't willing to do that or don't feel comfortable doing that and that's understandable mm-hmm. but in my particular case it's just like man I, I i can enjoy this ride really well you know you can take the driver's wheel and go because i'm enjoying it if you have a wonderful relationship and a, and, a, and a sexual relationship to go along with that and you have this trust and this communication in there it's very easy for the man to go monogamous because there is only one person in his life that's most important, and that's his wife. And by separating me away from Anne, sort of when she's having you know, her trysts, her experiences, I can really create some powerful angst then. And I really, that's really, I love that. I mean, I just absolutely love that. And so when she comes back from being fucked and she's happy and all that, I get to see okay, what was this angst that I was feeling and, and, and how does it compare to what she's feeling and, you know, sharing this, you know, this wonderful, you know, moment. Sometimes she will get dressed in a way that, you know, uh, just to do dinner, let's say. It's just like, oh, wow, you look great, you know, but then I know at the same time, yeah, that outfit she wore with who was that? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, just like that. And then you start getting these memories back, and you're just like, and so it's she. Um, she does me well in that respect. Mm-hmm. There's no reason to be ashamed of that. This is something that you shouldn't like about yourself. I believe that we are all wired to a certain way, and I think you have to, you know, recognize that this isn't a bad thing. And if there's a community out there that you connect with, you can understand that it's a good thing and try to become more comfortable with it. Mm-hmm.